Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a series of uh, using uh, widget blueprints, uh, otherwise, otherwise known as uh, UMG or Unreal Motion Graphics. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to get um, a, an element that's uh, in your interface to respond to user input. Uh, in fact, it's really easy. So uh, the setup I've got here is I've got a standard th third-person template. I've got a widget which I have previously created, but that widget has nothing in it at the moment. And just to quickly show you in the, um, sorry, in the level blueprints, uh, I've got the the things that I need to get that widget to be shown on screen. Okay, so where I'm going to leave that minimized because we're going to need to do a few more things in here as well to make our interface interactable. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is go back into this widget and I'm going to add a button. Um, so there's a button is one of the common elements. I'm just going to drag that into the world. I'm going to anchor that to the bottom right. Um, and this is going to be a quit button. Um, so when you click this button, it's going to make the, uh, make the game quit. Um, I'm going to indicate this by having some text. And if I drag that text onto the button, it gets contained within the button. So it's now, its parent is that button, so it will move with the button uh, as it needs to. And I'm going to just tell them quit in there. Okay. Um, so I'm going to highlight the button, go back to the button. If I scroll down here on the right-hand side, we'll see these green uh, things with pluses here and these are uh, events or represent the events that are possibly received by this element whatever the element is so if i go back and highlight the text then we'll see that has no element uh, no events that it can deal with but a button does um, and it works as a like a, an interface uh, a gui interface widget um so there are there are five here which are on clicked, on pressed, on on release. Sometimes you want buttons to respond when you release the mouse pointer rather than when you actually just click on it. So um, we're going to use the on clicked. There's also hovered, on hovered, and on hover, on unhovered, which might be used to display a tooltip um, or to change the appearance of a button when you uh, when you mouse over it. So that's a mouse over and a mouse on. Um, basically. I'm just going to uh, click on this plus here next to one click. So you just see that looks like the symbol that we've seen, uh, you've possibly seen previously for events. Um, and when I click on this, it takes us to the graph. So rather than the designer, I can click back on the designer if I want. It's automatically moves us to the graph and given us an, a node for the on clicked event for that button. And now all I need to do is to put some scripts in here and this is a simple quit button, so I'm just going to put in the quit, uh, quit game. And there, right. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, I'm going to go play. Uh, now, the problem that I've got is, having played and having started to move around, I don't have a mouse pointer. I can't mouse over the quit button, so I can't do anything with it. So there are a few more things that I need to do to be able to make this uh, this interface usable. And these are in the uh, level blueprints, uh, which I did have open. Yes, there we are. A third person example map. So I want to do three things. I want to, um, I want to display the mouse pointer, and I want to make the interface so that it will respond to input. And the third thing I'm going to do is um, you may have noticed when you're uh, when you're starting making projects in Unreal, and uh, whenever you click play, you then have to click inside the viewport before you have any kind of control. And I'm actually going to uh, make it so that that doesn't happen anymore. So we'll we'll deal with that thing first, uh, which is a really simple node, which is called set focus to focus. And it would help if I could spell focus. To set focus to game viewport. Um, and hopefully that's going to 
to solve that initial problem. When I click play, I don't have to click within this, and I am now already um, got control and I'm moving around. Um, just going to leave that. And then the other two things, displaying the mouse and uh, receiving the input. Uh, this, I always have to look these up. I have previously just looked them up before I do this video. Um, but the way to do this, first of all, to show the mouse, is that we need to have access to the player controller. Uh, so get player controller, and then you can drag off there, and we can do set show mouse cursor. Um, so there is a built-in variable to the player controller called show mouse cursor, and we're setting the value for that, and we're going to set it to true. The other thing we're going to do is we're also going to um, set uh, input mode. So set input mode, and we're going to set it to game and UI. So what that means is that the the player controller inside the world still responds to uh, the keys and moving about, but the interface will also... Hopefully, if I've got this right, uh, respond to clicks. Um, you can. You may have noticed there that there were uh, uh, other options. So you can do set input mode to game only and to UI only. So because this um, this UI element, this button, is an overlay on the game, and we want it to be available as the game is being played, I have set it so that both the UI and the game will receive input. Typically, if you've got a, a menu that you're popping up, you'll want to use these two here. So you want to, when you pop up the menu, set the input mode to UI only so that the game doesn't respond to anything anymore. And then when you get rid of that, the menu, set it back to game only. Okay, and by default, I think it's set to game only. So let's compile that and run and see what happens. Um, we now have a mouse cursor. When I push the mouse, the, the right mouse button down, it allows me to move around. When I let go, it gives me the mouse cursor that I can move around and uh, interact with things. And when I click the quit button, it does what we expect, it quits. So uh, as a quick re recap, we've uh, created a element in a widget which responds to a click. And if we go down here and look, it actually, that's changed from a plus to View, if we click view, that takes us to that. It's a very simple script. Actually responding to events is pretty simple. You just need scripts. Um, and the other thing that we've done is sh uh, showing you how to take control so that you can actually have a mouse pointer and uh, have the user interface respond to those clicks. So that's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.